In this video, I'm going to be showing you a great little money play that you can utilize to beat both man and zone coverage out of the gun tight formation in Madden 23. Now, if you want to learn my entire gun tight offensive ebook, I think it's probably the best man beating formation in the game. And we do know that man coverage is a very powerful meta this year. If you want to check that out, um, there's going to be a link in the description to my Patreon for just $10. You can become a member today and get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as any new ebooks and new updates that we release uh, while your membership's active. We just released a full West Coast offensive ebook talking about the bunch of formation out of that. Um, and then today we're actually in Washington's tight. I think that Washington and Detroit um, have probably the two best gun tights. And the beauty of gun tight is it really merges or blends well with other formations. So in Washington, they have a really good bunch. We've got a whole ebook on Washington's bunch. And you can go from Washington bunch to Washington tight really seamlessly. So anyways, with that in mind, again, if you want to check that out, the link's in the description. Uh, let's get into the video. I want to talk today about the play uh, PA cross. We're going to give you kind of a unique little setup uh, for this concept and uh, what I like to do uh, with this play right now. So this route to circle, um, to the circle receiver here is a really good route and we can actually use it in a lot of different ways. Uh, so what we're gonna do right here is we're going to motion him across and essentially turn this into a post route. So you see here uh, we have that post route and then what I've got uh, with this is we have a flat route to Mike Evans. Now you could put him on an out route if you wanted to. Um, there's a lot of freestyle you could do out of this play to be honest uh, but what I like to do is take the slot receiver and we can put him on a streak and then we're gonna slant the tight end so you see this is what the player looks like what you'll see right here is this little angled post is gonna kind of get into a sweet spot a little soft spot in the zone it's gonna be very effective for cover three um, this is also like I said what I love about this play the most though is its ability to beat man-to-man -man. now there's a couple different variations that we could do with this play uh, to make it really effective for man we could simply streak the square receiver and slant the tight end if we were playing someone and they were running a lot of man coverage and it was like all out man this is a very advantageous setup because you'll see here every pre, pretty much every route beats man and then you have the streak over the top as a wide open user catch what i like about this route though especially when you turn this into a post route is again just its consistency against man to man that is the uh that is the real key to this so you'll see here again um, and Julio Jones isn't the best route runner by any means, but you see here, he's just going to consistently get separation against man to man. Um, now you could, you could run a couple different, again, you can do a couple different things with this, this, uh, little slant route to, um, Chris Godwin, little like kind of arrow, uh, angled slant is also really good against man. As you see right there, we're getting really nice natural picks and rubs within the formation. That's again, what makes tight so good is it's natural picks and rubs but when we get into more of a zone defensive look like for example a cover three um this setup's not the greatest because it's all kind of going in the same direction um and it's just hard to consistently hit it that's where we come in with again that kind of meshing concept underneath where we slant the tight end and then we're going to streak chris godwin and have this flat to pull out zones so we have a quick throw uh quick throw flat we have the seam streak, and then we have the slant post concept. So you see here against cover three, um, you know, you see how good that is. That was actually cover two, uh, but you just see how this little, I'm telling you, this post just gets in such a such a sweet spot against the defense. Like it, it truly doesn't really matter, honestly, like what they're doing. Your post is going to get in this little, uh, again, just in this natural little sweet spot. So you see right here. See how the deep thirds, they're just not able to play it. And that's what makes this play so good. Um, of course, you have your backside, all your backside stuff here. Um, whoops, I'm pushing the wrong guy. Uh, you have your backside slant flat concept that's actually really effective as well. Um, if you were playing like a true man-to-man -man defense, you could run something like this and it actually would be pretty good. Um, but again, I like to have a clear out streak. I just think it's really helpful. Uh, so, you know, again, something like this. And then what you'll see here is this backside slant flat concept uh, creates kind of a really nice little piece as well to kind of, again, push the user to have to use her multiple uh, facets of this play. So like I said, there's a lot you can do with this play. Um, I do think that, 
you know, this setup right here where we're just going to, we're going to do kind of something like this, almost like a double post from bunch type setup. Um, it's not bad against zone. You'll see here that the clear out, the, the just the way that this um, tight end route can clear out zones is actually really effective. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, you know, but again, if you're playing more of a man coverage player, you want to have something that's going to come back this way so that they can't, they can't use or everything. So you want to have something like this here. So it's just kind of more of a, a play that you can really do a lot of freestyling out of. And the beauty of this play is when you use, when you utilize these motions, I think it makes it that much better. So for example, like let's say we motion this guy across. Now we have a, all kinds of things we can do, right? We could take this backside guy, put him on a, a streak. If we have Hot Route Master or Slot Apprentice, we could put him on a corner route. Um, you know, we could do you know all kinds of things uh, with this to kind of pay, uh, tailor this play to what the opponent is doing. So if they're running a lot of man to man, we might want to run a setup like this, where we still have a clear out streak from the tight end, but now we have a corner route. And then again, just notice how this post just cooks man coverage. He doesn't need an ability. He doesn't need anything. He just gets separation. And, um, you know, that's why I love turning this into a post. I just think it's one of the best man beaters in the game. And then when you pair that with something like the slant, you know, even if you did, even if you did something like this, this is fine too. Like this is more of an all out man to man beater, in my opinion. Um, it still can attack zone, but this is really more traditionally for a press man coverage. Cover three would, would handle this okay, but you see how man coverage is just going to struggle uh, to stop that post. And again, as long as you have a clear out uh, that there's no zone that they can really put in that and they're going to have to user that play. So you know, just something to think about. Again, as long as I have a zone to clear out the deep middle thirds or the deep quarters, you know, now I could do this play right here, uh, which just, just crucifies man coverage, honestly. Like, the slant's open. You can freeform this. Um, threw that just a little bit late. But you can freeform that post really well. I'm going to show you one other thing about hash marks real quick. So let's say we run this to the right hash which means that the post is going to be coming from the wide side of the field. You'll see an, an interesting little advantage uh, to that. So if you have it over here, uh, you'll notice against cover three, uh, there could be a potential touchdown. You'll see right here, just kind of like, it just gets a little bit more space for it to work in the middle of the defense, which is really helpful. So this play just breaks down coverages really, really well. It's why I like it so much. Um, I think that this... Uh, it's a very simple concept. It's a little bit of a, a twist on the traditional, you know, slant post piece. But as you can see, it just breaks down coverages so well. Now, again, if you want to get, if you want to really take this offense to the next level, I'd really encourage you to join our Patreon. It's only ten dollars. You'll get access to the whole ebook that literally walks you step by step through how to scheme out of this formation and make it one of the most unstoppable offenses in the game. So, if you want to check the ebooks out, make sure you join our Patreon. The link to sign up for that is in the description. It's only ten dollars to become a Patreon member today. So, if you want to sign up, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.